Hey, it's been about 423 days since I've been gone. I don't know why I'm still writing to you, even though I know you're never going to see this. But I miss you, you know? I went to go visit my sister Eve for the last time in hopes of seeing you again. I don't know, just something about you. You're different. To me, you're still the girl who outshine the sun, but I watch your smile fade every day now. Have you forgotten? Did you forget our October? <laughs> I'm always thinking about you, and I know what you're going to say. It's been more than a year, Parker. You're better than this. I enjoy the sweetness of nothing now, and it's oh so comforting and forgiving. Not sure if you ever felt that way. There's a lot I'm not sure about. Like, like what if I stayed just a bit longer? Would you have called? Would you still draw red marks on your skin? Would you look at me again in the same way you look at him? And I admit, he's perfect. He loves you. Right? I still think of our October. That night you said you loved me too. In that moment I realized it's always been about you. And it's all so selfish of you. It's all about you. I never really knew you, did I? It was always the happy and easy moments, but never the hard ones. And that's how you and I are the same. I always see glimpses of myself in you. You are the reason why I'm stuck in this never-ending limbo, Danielle. I didn't want you to forget about our October. I didn't want you to forget about me. I wish I had never met you. You gave me feelings no one else did. I thought love was supposed to feel that way. But I was way too over my head because of you. And as I've always said, endings are as much part of the story as beginnings are. But it's not like it matters anymore since it's been 1,964 days since I've been gone. And now you are too. I could say that I hate you, but this is my last act for closure. I'm letting you go so I can pass on. Goodbye, Danielle. Wishing you well wherever and whoever you are now. Parker Luna.